Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come today, God. I come boldly to the throne of grace, God. I had asked you to have me behind your cross, God. Speak through me, God, what you have your people to hear. Thank you for the pastor, God, that continue to let us use our gift, God. Father God, let me decrease you, increase, God. And I give you glory, I give you honor, and I give you praise, God. Because it's all in Jesus' name I do pray. Amen, and thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today, if you will, open your Bibles up to Psalms 119. And verse 11, 119 and verse 11. And it reads, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God, against thee. Let me read it again. Psalms 119 and verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And we're going to talk a little while today about don't let sin take over. Sin take over. There is so many sins that you can't partake in, but the word will take you out of it if you let it. The thought come in your mind, you ought to pick up the Bible sometime and begin to read. You pick up the Bible all the time. Just a few sins that we take part in. Funification is a sin that we take part in, laying around with other sinners, or they may just be saints. The Bible says in Matthew 15 and 19, for out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, funification, stealth, false witness, blasphemy. Funification, you're doing stuff in your body that you don't suppose your mistake. Was it a mistake or was it something you wanted to do? You coming against your own body. The words say, thank you, God. The body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. First Corinthians 6 and 15. Know ye not that your body, the members of Christ, shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of a harlot? God forbid. And also Romans 12, 1 and 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Then also we have the adulterous. Proverbs 6 and 32. But whosoever committed adultery with a woman lack his understanding. He that destroys his own soul. Some women fall for a married man thinking they're going to break them up from their family. He told you the rule when you first got in it. He told you about the guy. Girl, let me tell you, you can work that crystal ball all night long, but you can't break that family up. You need to get yourself somewhere to sit down. You can't take no man for God and already gave to that woman. Is you a nut or something? I believe you might be a little bit nutty. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Thank you, God. Stop telling your friends. You better stop telling your friend. Well, he told me, he said, he said, I'm going to leave her one day. That day ain't came yet. Good God Almighty, that man ain't no fool. He ain't going to leave his wife. He ain't going to leave his family. He ain't going to leave them little bitty baby. Because he got to feed him. Thank you, God. Bless your holy name, God. He's worthy to be prayed. Don't let the sin take over. Y'all, let me go on a little bit further, y'all. Sometimes you get hold up by some sin. Sometimes the sin will get you. Sometimes the sin will confuse you. I want to tell you today, you better think your mind, think in your mind. You better act before you do that thing. You don't want, you ain't got time for drama. Ain't no drama, get we ain't got time for it. That's a lot of drama, y'all. A husband, his wife, and then the other lady on the side. Good God Almighty, that ain't nothing but nothing but nothing but drama. You don't want that drama, y'all. 
And let me tell you one more, one more sin that you can partake in. That sin is lying, y'all. Lying is a crime, y'all. And you gonna get a sentencing for it. That sentencing that you gonna get is Romans 6, 23. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. What do you want, y'all? You won't lie, or you won't sin. Thank you, God. Bless your name, God. Let me tell somebody, you better stay out at the foul bed. Let me give you a revelation. The adulterous bed is a bed of hell. It's got some fire in that bed. It got a little brimstone there, too. Let me tell somebody, get you a picture, y'all. Get a picture of that bed. And when you get ready to go to that bed, you better see some fire in that bed. You better see some brimstone in that bed. And then that thing will make you, it'll make you not get in that bed. Good God Almighty, the Bible tells us that that brimstone is hot. It'll make just make her run up out of there. It'll make her pull up everything. You might have pulled them down. You might have put the legs down. You might have pulled one leg down. But that's all right, y'all. You better run. Run while you got a chance. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell y'all. The saints got their eyes open. The people say the saints ain't got their eyes open. Yes, they do. They say the saints is so heavenly manly that they ain't no good. They ain't no earthly good. They some good job. You better not let them fool ya. They see what you're doing. They watching ya. Good God Almighty. You can't fool them, son. You can't pull a wool over the eye. They watching y'all, good God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your holy name. Thank you, God. Now, sin, land sin, that's a big time sin, they say. Young girls, let me tell you. I know you might have seen mama doing it. I know you might have seen mama slipping me in in the back door. But don't you do what mama did, y'all, because mama was wrong. Mama slipped them in, y'all. She thought you were asleep, but you had your eyes sober. You heard what was going on. Something was going on in the other room. You heard mama. Yes, you did. Don't you do what mama did, child. Make a better life for yourself. You ain't got to do that. Thank you, Jesus. Because God can give you something better. And you won't have to be a Dutchman. God can give you something better. And you won't have to find a cake. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. I got it from God, I got it from God. God gave me this message. That's where I got it from. I got it from God. Then them young girls, they tell their mama. They say, Mama, I'm going over Mary House today. And Mama already know you ain't going over no Mary House. You tell him, Mom, I'm going over Mary Hell. With them, when you get on down the street somewhere, you go over running hell. Go over running hell and see what running doing. You told Mama a lie. You told Mama a lie. You told Mama I was going there. I'm going over Mary House, Mama. You know what Mama did. She got on the telephone. She picked up the telephone. She called Mary. She said, Mary, it's my daughter over there. And Mary had some sense, y'all. She said, no, Mama. Mama, she ain't over here. Good God Almighty. Glory to Jesus. Bless your name, God. Thank you, God. 
You don't have anything to be fretful about. You don't have anything to be worrying about because God got you. And then one more other thing. You need to stop running with them chicken. And you need to start flying with the eagle. Fly with the eagle, y'all. Good God Almighty. Ask God for some wisdom. I promise you I'll give it to ya. He gave Sodom some wisdom. But Sodom messed it up. Sodom went to all them women. Sodom had everything. But it looked over there. He wanted him a woman, y'all. He wanted two women, y'all. He wanted three women, y'all. He wanted four women, y'all. Good God Almighty. If that's enough, if that's enough. If four women's enough, that's too much. Good God Almighty. God didn't make nothing but one man for one woman. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let the sin take over. Yes, God. The word tell us in James 1 and 5, it said, if you lack any wisdom, let him ask to God that give it to all men's liberty and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. You're going from relationship to relationship. Pastor told us, he said you need to detox yourself. When you get out of one relationship, don't go to another one. Good God Almighty, get yourself back together. Get you some strength. Get your mind right. Encourage yourself in the Lord. I told you, wait on the Lord. And he'll make it good for you. Thank you, God. Detox yourself. Cut some things off of yourself. Get in the word of God. Let your heart heal. Your heart been broke. He done broke your heart. He lied to you. Let me tell you one more thing. I got to go back out. I got to go back. You can't get that money that belongs to the other woman because she got a, a cost on it. She know how much money that man got. She know how much it brings to the hell. Good God Almighty, you can't get out because she done already counted it. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Thank you, God. Let me tell some of these older mothers. Uh-huh. Some of the older mothers out there trying to shack. Good God Almighty. Shacking ought to be over with. They say it's a common law. I don't care about the common law. I care about God law. If you ain't married, if you ain't married, the common law ain't no God. Thank you, Jesus. You ain't got no papers on it. When it die, you ain't gonna get the insurance. His wife gonna get it. Good God Almighty. She gonna get everything, y'all. She gonna get the house, y'all. She gonna get the car, y'all. She gonna get everything. Everything. She gonna get the land, Mr. Wheel. She gonna get everything, y'all. So you need to leave that man alone. Leave him alone. Let him stay with his family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Bless your name, God. I got some more to tell you. Thank you, Jesus. You ought to be like Shadrach and Meshach. And you ought to be like Paul and Sarah. Paul and Sarah prayed at night. They sing some songs to God. Acts 16 and 25. And Paul and Sarah prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prison heard them. And there was a great earthquake. And I mean the door was open. And every man was loose. You better ask God what you need to do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Now let me tell you about this. 
Now when Paul and Saul was in that jail, they was praying unto God. If he come over your house, let me tell you what to do. You ought to pray to God. He'll thank you crazy. You ought to get it in front of the Bosanda. You ought to start speaking in tongues. They'll thank you crazy. Go into the heavenly language. They're going to thank you crazy because you're talking to like God. They'll run him away from you. They'll run him away from you. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let this sin take over you. Bless your name, God. We need an earthquake to happen anyway. And I don't mean like that, uh, you know, a shake it. I'm talking about a shake it up in the spirit. A Holy Ghost shake and earthquake. A Holy Ghost shake and earthquake. It needs to shake up from that. It needs to shake us up. Uh, maybe we'll get right for God. It needs to shake us up. Uh, maybe our man come back to right now. He needs to shake us up. Uh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Well, 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 fathers, I didn't leave you out. You got a good family, Father. You've been in that thing for 50 years. You've been loving on your wife all this time. Now here comes Jackie. Jackie walking down the street. Here comes Jackie. And she's looking at your man. Here comes Jackie. She's throwing him hips from side to side. Here comes Jackie. You better watch out, girl. Watch out, girl. Jackie won't help. Jackie done heard some things about him. Jackie done heard that mama is going down. Mama ain't going to be around no more. So Jackie trying to slip in. She doing everything that she can. But she heard a rumor. She heard a rumor. The rumor was an immature. Somebody told a lie. And I read around. They told another lie. And I read around. Mama do it all right. Daddy stay with your wife. Thank you, God. Now, Mama. Now, Mama, Mama, Mama. Daddy did get beside himself. Daddy got beside himself, and he stopped bringing the money home. He started going down there to that casino. He was pulling down the one arm bender. Thank you, God. He was losing all the money. And then they couldn't pay their house, no. They lost all their money. They couldn't pay their house, no. Good God Almighty. What's going on, Daddy? What's wrong with your man, Daddy? Get your man back right, Daddy. Go back to God, Daddy. Steal away, Daddy. Get down on your knees, Daddy. Good God Almighty. Come on, Daddy. You ain't that dumb, Daddy. You have been with a 50 years. Good God Almighty, you said I'll be with you to death do your part. Thank you, God. Bless your holy name. Bless your name. Did the devil come in? I believe he did. He came in, y'all. But you know what you can do for that devil? You can cut his head off. Cut his head off with the word of God. The Bible said in John 10 and 10, the thief came not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Thank you, God. I ain't going to sugarcoat the word. I ain't going to sweep it under the rug. God told me to cry out. I got to cry out. Isaiah 58 and 1. He said, cry out loud. Spell not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their sin. You're not afraid. 
You're not afraid to get his word out. You're not afraid to say what God told you to say. God got to separate some people. Some people not in your church no more. Because God already did the separating. God already separated them. They ran at the door. They couldn't stay here no more. The power was too strong. The praise was too high. Thank you, Caesar. Bless your name, God. Bless your name. Now, people stir up trouble. And God said, he said, don't y'all be unequally yoked. You don't need to be unequally yoked because they'll stir up some trouble. They will fight. Girl, let me tell you, the pastor didn't talk about you. It was the Holy Ghost talking. The Holy Ghost was talking to you. Your hands are too short. They're too short to box with God. God is the one that get a revenge. Romans 12 and 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. But it's written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, said the Lord. Let me tell somebody, don't you fight against this man of God. This man is a good man. He's a real good man. Don't cry, Pastor. Don't cry, Pastor. God done brought this man. This man didn't used to want to do nothing for God. But God changed this man. You might not be seeing the change, but I see the change in this man. This man got a loving heart. He got a heart for God. He got a giving heart. We gonna stay with this man. I don't care who lead, Pastor. I'ma be right here with ya. I don't care who lead, Pastor. I'ma sit on the front seat. I don't care who lead, Pastor. I might get a hundred years old, but I must stay right there. If I get a hundred years old, I still want to be having joy. If I get a hundred years old, I still want to shout for God. If I get a hundred years old, I still want to run for God. If I get a hundred years old, I'm still going to dance for God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your holy name, God. Praise you, Jesus. I'm at the end now. I'm at the end of this lesson. I hope somebody learned something. I hope to learn something from the Lord. Don't put it on the shelf, y'all. You better read it. You better take care and do what the Word tells you to do. Thank you, God. Don't let the sin... Take over. Somebody give the Lord a victory.